Hey beloved twin flames, welcome to Sayuna with Pleiadian soul messages. So as you know I am a twin flame and I've finally given up my person, stories, drama, suffering and control and surrendered my mind to my heart. I know at the place where I am, simply present and everything is moving spontaneous. I'm saying this to you because so many of you are suffering. I'm only saying this to the ones who are suffering from the separation. I've been there and I know how it can hurt beyond speakable but I also now know that there is a way out and how to do it I'm not suffering anymore but I must tell you there is more beyond being in self or enlightenment because that's just a starting point there is so much magnificence possible and in store, <laughs> in the layout for you, you have no idea. So, and I'm also promising you, the suffering isn't true. Although it has felt really true, and I tell you again, I have felt the deep suffering. But if it would be true, then once I would be within myself, united, then I would still suffer, right? I do feel my beloved. And he's with me. And there is no separation. So once you are within your center, within your truest being, no longer disturbed by the mind, yes, the mind can still come up, but just watch it and don't let it drag you into the drama. And just as soon as it wants to throw up drama, you say it's not true. Because the truth is deeply known within you and shown. You recognize it. Why I'm saying this is because this is the way out of the suffering. And needs to be done first. And also, you want unconditional love. You want to experience unconditional love. But it's not so good understood by many. And it wasn't understood by myself either before. Because, of course, unconditional love isn't personal. Unconditional love is just love. Peace, content, feeling of joy, but it is not something that wants to jump out all the time. It's more stable within. And going without needing to control or thinking or making plans... Because what is needed to know or to do will come up automatically. This is such a beautiful place. There is nothing needed because everything is there. And as you will feel sometimes that something come up that is needed. Then you will respond towards it accordingly. Or it is just there and you already have it. So, it is important to be receiving, to be open for receiving, and to be open that life takes care for itself, for life itself, because this is a truth. And yes, there can still be certain worries about loved ones, but when you are in this energy, it is very little. Because you also know they will be taken care of themselves and it is not really true. And you start to laugh about them. Not laughing in their face, but you more often having jokes and laughing together. Because they will feel and recognize that how they feel in suffering and in the mind and in confusion is not real either. So they start to be happier around you and laughing more. But not always, sometimes they go. 
and then come back. It's just the flow of the ocean, you know, the in-breath and the out-breath. Letting go what no longer needed. And embrace fully, accept and enjoy what is already there. And what is in your highest good. Because you will love it. It's one with you. There is no separation. And the only separation you can find is physical. But because the physical is only temporarily, it's no need for suffering. And it will happen when it is your journey all the time. Your beloved is with you since you are incarnated. Always been like a guardian angel for you. And you for him. So rejoice in being together and recognizing each other, loving each other. Because in truth, both of you are very, very joyful. I'm happy. I can feel it. And it is indescribable the feelings that your beloved has for you. Because basically it is. When you're in your own presence and you're... I cannot say meeting God because you are God. But when you are back home in this place and still being conscious or aware about your presence, your manifested presence, your body, your soul, something spontaneously, then there is no need for any more things outside or searching for the love outside. You know it's all within. You know how full and complete and rich wonderful and magnificent you are but if spontaneously something comes up such as witnessing seeing God or the I am presence within the other within a beautiful passionate relation or connection then it happens so but to not suffer anymore and to be in the unconditional love and to be at the place of the higher frequencies means not being in the mind but ending the drama and the lies and being in self. For me, what I've done was constantly asking for all that I'm not to be burnt away in the beautiful, eternal flames of transmutation and all the time pull myself back in the I am presence. I am here, I am present. But of course it's a journey. And I also want to tell you, it is a very intimate journey. And it is different for everyone. And so I can only speak to the ones who are at the same line or frequency or resonate with this message. The most important thing, because no one can know for you if you are have a, uh, a twin flame or if you are meant to be in the physical together. Only you and your twin flame know and it's only being felt within. It is only being experienced. It cannot be understood mentally. It is impossible. So, my direction would be what I would like to say to you is if you want the suffering to end and to find the truth then it is a time to go within no longer being distracted no longer allow yourself to be distracted or your mind playing tricks on you to pull your attention away but every moment you can have with yourself alone Sorry, my, my fingers get cramped, so I'm getting shaky. So every moment that you have alone, even when you're doing things, you're cooking, you're doing the dishes, you're walking towards the shop, you're in the train, whatever you're doing and you're alone, you can still be working. Actually, it's not working, but... Yeah, pulling all your attention towards your inner presence. And it can happen that there comes up emotions. It's a cleanse and let it be a cleanse. And return to your inner presence again. 
And it can happen that you suddenly start to laugh. And that other people th ask you if you're high. It happened to me. <laughs> but it is co you're coming back to yourself all the time. To the peace. And it will grow. So it is a beautiful, happy place. And everything is happening out of the intuition, the spontaneous feeling, the awareness knows what to do. The mind is not needed. So, yeah. Anyways, it is very difficult to put in words. It should be an experience, a direct experience for everyone. But beautiful twin flames who are still suffering... The only thing that needs to be done is to be within and then the within knows or not knows it is just happening whatever needs to be shed tears or layers of lies and confusion and they will all fall away and the only thing that's left is your beautiful inner endless peaceful joyful love unconditional love and whatever needs to happen will come up and arise automatically and naturally. Where what is not supported will fall away. You cannot even do it anymore. My body is not supporting things that are not aligned with what I should do at the moment. What is the highest um, action, the best in my highest good. The highest good of all. And it is also very beautiful if you have time or take time. There's always time. Today was told the time is yours. It's all yours. And take time. Yeah, because I have not been alone much with myself until last year. But then my entire life I was with others. Taking care of others. So it's beautiful. To feel that you can do it. There's nothing anymore to need to do. And if there's something coming up. And it's just happening and arising. So. Guess. I cannot teach you anything. I can just share a little bit with you. And. Yeah. The end of suffering is within you. And is the truth. And for the ones who are, many of you are meant to meet your twin flame in the physical. It cannot happen. I cannot tell you how it will happen. It should be experienced. Because then the mind will do stuff with it. And you all should follow your own inner process. And your own path and journey. But if it's meant to happen, it will happen. And you can find the peace in that. Trust in your inner beautiful being who is always loving and loving and love and loving you. You are love. You are loving yourself. All right. Send you so much love. Sorry I tried to <laughs> explain the unexplainable. It is really needed to experience and you can. If I can do it, everyone can do it. Right, so much love to you all, and we speak soon, and don't worry if you don't hear from me for a while, all is well, and when I feel to emerge or say something, I will come up, and also when you feel the urge to speak to me, you can always contact me, I know it will happen when it's meant to happen. When it's guided and aligned, I will know. And you will inner know. So follow your intuition and love yourself. And your beloved loves yourself. And you love your beloved. And you're so happy already. And remember, it's just a temporary illusion you're in. So much love. I'll speak to you again. Ciao, ciao.